about a tight squeeze. You okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, you bump into any giant robots like that in Reactor 1? Yeah, except a bastard looked like a scorpion. Speaking of which, what would you say that last one looked like? Huh? Uh, well... Hmm. Looks dead now. Lo and behold. All aboard. Just so you know, it's not gonna get any easier. <laughs> when did it ever? and straight on to Reactor 5. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> Only because it is. That there's the reactor support pillar. So what's the plan? After plan E comes F, G, and then H. <sighs> Thought E was the last. <laughs> this here is Section F. We cut through Section G and head for H. A cargo platform in H will get us closer to the reactor. Biggs should be somewhere over there. Looks like the sun's going down on Midgar. Right. Double time. We got a date with the reactor. <laughs> Shut up and move. Just don't look down, okay? Easy for you to say. Section G's through here, huh? Looks more like what we need. Control room. Let's check it out.
this is that entrance. I'm getting the feeling no one's come down here for a long time. No plate inspectors, huh? Doesn't look good. Think it works? Power. Of course. Hey guys, look at this. Instructions for dealing with a power shortage. Kill the lights, and we free up power for the gate and other stuff. Sun lamps. You think these are the plate suns? The closest thing we have to the real thing. Gotta put out a sun just to open a gate, huh? But if we go through with it, the grounders in Sector 4 will suffer. Now or later. Sun's going out for good when we blow the reactor. That's true. Let's go. All these lamps. You'd think they'd be able to balance the load by now, though. Maybe. If the maintenance guys or whoever weren't playing hooky. The lamps are important. But when you think how much Mako it must take to keep them running... 